Hello everybody, this is Restaurant Junkie! And today we're going to try this uh, roasted garlic ribeye steak sandwich. Something like that, yeah, something or other. Good. This is a piece of roasted garlic on like an onion ring, so... Let's see. Oh, here's a big piece. It's a brisket or whatever, I think. I think, I don't know. Steak brisket? I'm not sure. Alright, here we go. I'll take it good. Mm. Eight bucks for a sandwich. What do you guys want it? <coughs> oh. Onion ring. I think. Yeah, right there. I'll open it up for you. There you go. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What kind of sauce is that on it? Salt, salt. Mm. Roasted. No. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mmm. And we got curly fries. Dip, 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 dip. Mm. This is the last ones our local Arby's had. Yeah, yeah. this is the last time they had this. Yep. There's more to come in. This just came out. This came out maybe. Two weeks ago three weeks ago but you know i'm not a big fan of this i don't know what's on it that i don't like something's mm. on it i'm not a fan of i don't know what it is of the kind of cheese that's on it or if it's the sauce i think it tastes good it tastes okay it's a good curry fry let me get it right I should have a Snickers bar, not me when I'm hungry. Mm. A Snickers bar? Yeah, no, you know, the commercial is like, I'm not, you're not you when you're hungry, you just Snickers. Uh. Mm. Mm. Maybe you don't like the garlic sauce. Mm, yeah. I think it's that. Mm. Whoa, yeah. It's definitely that. Drink some soda. Oh. Okay. What was the point of that? Did you see what's happened next to us? No. That lady pulled in the parallel parallel park in there, turned around and then pulled out that way. Why don't you just go all the way around? Huh. Out. What was the fucking point? People are weird. Yeah. It's that garlic sauce. I don't know like, what's in it or whatever, but whatever it is. I think it tastes okay. No. Well, tastes okay, but you just don't care for it. No. Yeah. I like the horsey sauce on French fries. Mmm. It's one of those things that you're like, oh, I think a mint after eating this because you know your breath does smell. Yeah. Like, they you eat like um, garlic knots or whatever. You know, your breath's gonna stink after this, like, mm -hmm. garlic. Mm. Where do you wanna go there? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Are you serious? You're joking, right? No, where do you wanna get that drink at? The Prime, across the street, the vitamin shop. Oh. He's pointing to the alcohol store. When do we go there to get the Prime drink? I have to go in there and get wine. Wine? Great wine for your stomach. I didn't sell it in drink for the meal. So. Mm -hmm. It's beautiful out today. There's your work. Mm-hmm. 
five cars. <laughs> no problem. When I was a kid, movie theaters were always busy. Always. Ever since the pandemic, no one wants to go see a movie. But now you can see it on TV. Exactly. That's the other problem. I remember when they first, when Universal said they're going to put Fast and Furious 9 on the TV and in theaters, AMC said, we're not going to play any Universal movies in our theaters if you do that. Oh, really? And Universal said, okay, don't. You know, you know what I mean? They probably make more money doing <clears throat> it on demand anyway. Why? They don't, what? The theater gets like 10% of the profit. You go, yeah, but what is how they charge on TV? Like fifteen dollars. You know, when we pay for a movie that goes mostly to the. It's like fifteen dollars every time guaranteed that goes to them. Goes to where? To whatever movie, whatever. But when it's on TV, how do they get charged? Oh, but it was on like Netflix. Yeah. Netflix pays. Hmm. So Netflix pays like or HBO pays whoever pays. They probably pay like. They pay upwards of like hundreds of thousands of dollars for certain movies. To have them just for a month. Oh, really? Mm hmm. That's why HBO um, has the Cree movies. They knew that the third one's coming out this month, so they paid the rights to have the first two. Oh. And those ones are like, oh, where can I watch it to catch up on it? They're, it's smart. But at the same time, it's like, eh. Um, but not, well, like, the whole thing of video on demand is, they just, in two weeks, I bet you Creed 3 will be able to buy on video on demand. Oh, good. I, yeah, so not, dude, that Knock Out the Cabin movie, uh, me and Zachary saw it. It was really good. And I went to video on demand like, within, like, next month. It used to be, like, six months. It used to take forever yeah. on demand. And they go on DVD. It used to take like six months, upwards of six months or something like that to go on DVD when you want to watch a movie. Now it takes them like maybe four months, three months, I don't know, for at least DVD copy, but digital. Like, like that. Oh, the Tato movie. Was that the movie theater? Otto? Otto. That was our biggest movie. We got people every day in the morning time, older people, to see that movie. It was always, oh, always that. right there. Oh, really? It was almost sold out. Almost. How soon did that come out on TV? Like a month. Oh, really? That's a good movie. Yeah, that's a good movie. Main Claude Auto, guys, watch that. That's really good. We, we watched so many movies, we bought them. That we watched. Um, we just watched the Cree movies on HBO. Early. Those are good movies. Mm -hmm. I recommend those to you guys, anybody. If you guys like Sylvester Stallone, Rocky, or you don't need to watch, you don't need to watch Rocky one. You don't need to watch Rocky at all. You can just watch Creed one and two, and you won't even you won't be a big you won't be a big difference. Um, that cabin one you watch? Like oh, wait, wait, which cabin one? The one with the four people at the cabin. You watch that? I didn't watch it. You did. Yeah, that was on. That was on. That was in the theaters, though. I was like, you saw that movie? Yeah, did you see it on TV? No, I we watched it in the theater. It is on TV now. You can buy it oh, on yeah, TV. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, 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 a lot of these movies that just came out. A Megan movie came out. I think in Jan the end of January, I think, which was like, it was like a small budget horror movie that made like a couple hundred million dollars. As that's on Peacock, you can buy it on demand. What other movies? I'm trying to think of them all, man. We we bought so many movies this past like week. The Whale with Brendan Fraser, amazing movie, guys. I the Whale. A, the Whale. That what about the big fat guy? Oh yeah, the big heavy guy. That's a good movie, guys. I recommend that to anybody. I think he's gonna win an Oscar for that movie. Who played that? Brendan Fraser, the guy that used to be in the Mummy. He hmm. used to be he used to be a big Hollywood actor, and some some Hollywood exec like roped him or whatever. Oh, really? Then and he told people about it. He got blacklisted from Hollywood. That's what happened. I How did he get back in? Well, it's been... Well, I think that guy's dead now. <laughs> oh, How did he get back in, though? To Hollywood? He started... This is his first movie back in. I, it's 
Yeah, because he, he came back in shows. He's, he's in the one show on DC. He's in Doom Patrol. Um, he plays a robot man or whatever. He voices him. But he heavy like that? Not like not like that. Um, like, he is, like, heavier, but he's not, like, the degree in the whale. That's, like, a big body suit or whatever. But he is, like, a heavier guy. He's not, like, skinny or anything. Uh, but it's not like he's, you know, big. He's not, I, He is one of those people that I would love to meet. He seems, like, such a nice and genuine person. He cried. Because of he got a standing ovation during the movie, oh. he got he he cried or whatever. Um, I know that kid that was in Indiana Jones that played a uh, short round. That was the name, I think. He just got back into acting twenty oh, years man. later, or something like that. Twenty years, whatever, thirty, whatever, how long it's been since he acted. Twenty years, I think. Right, he just got back into acting because he stopped acting because he couldn't get any roles. And he was getting pissed off. Oh. So he stopped acting, but he, he stopped acting. And he became like a stunt coordinator, a, um, a film a film guy, and all that stuff. Oh. And then he saw the movie Crazy Rich Asians in theaters, and called his agent when he was a kid. Was like, I want to be an actor again. Two weeks later, he got a, a movie a movie role and everything ever all at once, which is supposed to be really good. Um, he was in that. And as that movie came out, the guy from um, I think it's the guy from Marvel called him. Oh, and he's like, hey, he went to a Marvel project. Oh. And he's like, all right. So now he's back or whatever. Which, I think that's great. You know, I'm all, I'm all happy about people coming back into acting or whatever. whatever. Yeah. After when they were a kid and then they stopped. I think he was, he was short on Indiana Jones and that um, other kid in Goonies. But that's all his acting roles were. And then he eventually, you know. So what do you think of this sandwich? This sandwich. It didn't have the garlic on. It didn't the garlic on it. Yes, it's like a seven. It's not. It's not bad. It's not bad. I'll give it an eight. It's, I like it. So I'm not. I've been feeling the garlic. So I don't know what it is. I think it's too much, or I don't know. I've been into like a big chunk of it at the end there, and I kind of was like, ugh. Okay. I don't know. Go Darby. Guys, watch our live streams. Red Dead, Red Dead Redemption 2. That Those live streams have been popping off of views, guys. Thank you so much for viewing those. We appreciate every view right. we get. Um, check our store out. Check our store out. Should be getting t-shirts We'll be getting t-shirts sooner than later. Probably. But it's, it's the beginning of, of March. Probably by the, like, within the next two or so weeks. Maybe. I, I shouldn't like promise you guys anything. Hopefully for the next two weeks. Pop, pops can be on my case. It's okay. All right, guys. And yeah. what else? Uh, I hope tomorrow's better, better than today. Beautiful today. Take a ride. Yep. All right, guys. Bye-bye, everybody. Bye.